We've actually known from some recent data that astronauts' bones weaken in space. They lose density in their bones, so their bones become a little bit more brittle. And you can imagine if you faint on Mars, the risk of breaking a bone, a hip, an arm, a leg is quite severe. And herein lies the really big problem. Mars is far away. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you understand Mars is far away. But there's actually a big issue with that. Mars is so far away that it takes time to send a signal back to Earth. Because of the orbits of Mars, sometimes Mars can be somewhat close to the Earth. It only take about 8 to 10 minutes to send a signal to Earth. Sometimes, kind of like cars around a racetrack, Mars is on the other side of the Sun to Earth, and so it could take a really long time, 20, almost 25 minutes to send a signal to Earth. So if you have an astronaut and they get hurt or injured, and you have to call Earth for help, you don't want to be waiting an hour for that signal to get to Earth, and then them to reply the 25 minutes to come back. And then you also just have this huge problem of remoteness. Astronauts are going to be spending a long time getting and in Mars. So because of these orbits of Mars and Earth, again, kind of cars going around a racetrack, sometimes Earth and Mars are close and sometimes we're far apart. On the close points, it takes about six months to get to Earth from Mars. But by the time you've made your journey to Mars, Earth has gone around the sun. So you actually then have to wait on Mars for then Mars and Earth to come back close together again so that it's only a six-month trip back from Mars to Earth. This means actually for the trip to Mars, staying on Mars, and come back to Earth, it will be a couple of years. And you can't launch all the time. You have to wait for these six-month windows, as we say. And this happens about every 25 months. So if someone gets sick on Mars, you can't just say, send them back to Earth. You have to wait for those orbits to align. And this becomes a really big challenge. Not just them falling over and getting injured, but what if they just get sick? You're going to be spending a year and a half, two years on this whole journey getting to Mars and back. Just think of, you know, taking any group of humans and locking them away for two years. Eventually, something's going to have an illness. Maybe not a cold, but uh, a problem with their stomach or bones or something. We have illnesses. We get injuries. That happens. But you can't send them back to Earth. And this is very different from the International Space Station. On the International Space Station, if something goes wrong, they actually do have the option. And in some cases, they have sent astronauts from space back to Earth in emergency situations. That is not the case with Mars. You cannot send them back safely. So whatever happens is they need to be able to solve these medical issues on Mars. So therefore, someone breaking a bone on Mars can actually be a really critical medical problem as compared to anywhere else near Earth.